Hey guys, what's up? It's Chloe, and in today's video I'm doing something a little bit different. I am doing a sewing supplies haul for you guys. I've done like craft hauls before, um, but I've never done like a specific like sewing material type of thing. So I decided to go ahead and try that out today. Lately I have really been into um, sewing clothes for myself. It's just something I've really got into in like the past um, year. Of course I've been sewing for a couple years now. Um, so I've kind of gone crazy at Joann's and Hobby Lobby the past uh, like month and a half. This is a collective haul so I guess I'll start with the oldest stuff I got and then move on to the newest. I think the oldest stuff I got in here is from like the last week of April. So this is all pretty new. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and start with, so I do have some finished projects but I still want to show it with you guys. And the first one is I got this pattern. This is from Joann's, it's McCall's. Nicals, I don't know how to say it. And it's this really cute little um, dress with the like bell sleeves and I already made it. Here it is right here. You can see I also bought this um, knit material from Joann's. But I, want, I absolutely love this dress. And yeah, so that is the very first uh, part of the haul. So I did want to show that to you guys even though I already finished the project. And then the next time I went to Joann's, I went absolutely crazy. Um, because I wanted to just stock up on some fabric and they were having a big pattern sale so yeah I just bought a lot of stuff um, the first thing I'm gonna show you is another finished project because while I was there I bought this Disney princess material which I absolutely love I'm a huge Disney fan I'm going to um, Disneyland Paris um, like in a few in a few days probably by the time you're watching this so I absolutely loved this material. You can see there's Snow White and Cinderella. It's just really pretty. It, the skirt does need to be ironed, but don't mind that. And I also bought this blue elastic there to be the top of the skirt. Um, I made this myself. I didn't use a pattern. I like made my own pattern, and I really like the way that turned out. Of course, I do need to iron it still. And then while I was there, I bought tons and tons of patterns because um, they were like, well, I only bought three patterns, but I don't usually buy patterns because I like to make my own um, because they're having a crazy pattern sale. So this one, I have the pattern out of the box because I um, already cut it out. I haven't used it yet though. Um, and this was like $2, I think. And I really like the side split skirts and the short, I just have a lot of fun skirts in here and you can use knits and there's some that work with cottons. So I really, really like this one. And then I also got this one, um, which I think this one was $3. Yes, I think this one is $3, but it has a lot of cute variations of tops. I really love um, this tank top. That'd be really nice for summertime. And then the very last one I saw, which I think is also $3, is this one. And I really loved the like cropped two-piece set, but you also have the dresses. But I love that this is a, this looks like it's a cotton material. Um, and I have a lot of cotton fabric. I just like I don't know. It always has the prettiest fab. Always has the prettiest patterns on it. So I always buy cotton instead of knit. Um, even though I do sew with knit. So I just like that I can use my cotton on this. And then um, while I was there, I did buy a bunch of fabric. I did buy fabric with the intention of you know using it for these. Um, so of course I did buy that princess one. And then I got this really pretty floral fabric, which I already washed. I got this with the intention of making this skirt because it's a little stretchy. It's not like knit, but it's also not like cotton, you know what I mean? Um, so I really love that. This was also on sale. This was on clearance. It was like an additional 30% off, and I got like the end of the bolt, so it's a little more than a yard. By the way, I think I got a yard and a half of that pink, of the pink flowers. And then I got, um, this was also at the end of the bolt, so I got... A yard and a half and then whatever was left on it so I got a little bit extra and this was like a yard and whatever was left on the bolt and it's just really cute Charlie Brown like constellations I thought that was adorable this would make a really cute crop top and this is a cotton so how cute so I only went so I went to Joann's because Joann's is about a 20 minute drive from my house um, to pick up one piece of fabric which was this one I wanted some kind of um, like I can't think of the word like flannel looking plaid, um, blue, kind of um, knit-ish. It's like stretchy, but it's not a full knit. So I don't know what that would be called. I'm sorry, I'm very sorry. Um, but I picked this up because I'm making it off the shoulder top with it. I think this is really pretty. And then I also got this trim, this cute pom-pom trim. I think this is two yards, and I think this is one and a half as well um, to go along because I'm gonna make a ruffle. So this is gonna go along that shirt. 
super cute. I'm really excited for that. So that is everything that I got at um, Joann's the second time I went. I spent a lot of money that time. It all just kind of added up. The very last piece of fabric that I got is right here. I went to a like local fabric shop downtown. Um, I'd never been there before and I wanted to check it out. I got this. Um, I got one yard of it. It was like pre-packaged, like pre-rolled, pre-cut. Uh, this really, really cute like cat with these ornaments and I just absolutely love it. I think that's adorable. I think I'm going to make a crop top out of this as well. I know it's folded kind of weird. It's because it was in like a roll and I unfolded it. So yeah, the very last stuff I got here is all like um, notions because I went to Hobby Lobby and they were having a 50% off sale of this brand called Soology. So I kind of went crazy. I also got a pack of safety pins, but I already opened those and it's like safety pins everywhere. So I didn't want to like bring them out. Um, so I got some reusable bobbins just because I hate threading bobbins and it was $3.99 plus half off. So I just decided I'm going to use these. Why not? Um, so yeah, one thing I did forget to mention, I did get this at Joann's when I got all that fabric and it's just a roll of elastic, one inch knit elastic for the um, off the shoulder top. And then I got something that I have been wanting to get for a very, very long time with that 50% off sale, which is a, um, a rotary mat and a rotary cutter. I was really excited to get this. So I think the total price was about $30 for all of this, like $35-ish. Um, considering this is usually like 20, this is like 20, this is I think like five or seven. Um, and then this plus the safety pins were like um, $6 together. So yes, I've always wanted a rotary cutter and a rotary mat. I just always couldn't really justify the price because I wanted to try out. I didn't really know how much I'd use it. So I decided to get this mat. It wasn't the biggest size they had available, um, but I think it's a really nice size for the stuff I do. Um, it works really well. And then I did get a cutter. This one is by So Easy. Um, I don't do quilting, which is why I wasn't sure if I would use it or not, but I've been using it with my sewing projects and I really enjoy it. This one has a safety lock, which I really like, and you unpress a safety lock and it can cut. Um, it's really, really nice. I think I might end up upgrading to one of the, like, Fiskar, Fishcar ones, just because I think those are, are a little nicer. I have a feeling this won't last me, um, like, a full year or anything. Um, just because it was a little cheaper, but it is really nice. If you guys have been thinking about getting a cutter and a mat, I definitely recommend it. Um, that sale definitely helped me, and now I am hooked. I cannot, like, use anything else. I absolutely love this. The other thing I got was this. Now, this is traditionally for quilting. Um, I can't remember the name of it, but there are holes in it so you can make, like, a perfect circle. I actually learned this from somebody, um where you use it as a ruler to help you cut. So when you cut, you hold this along the edge and it like helps you make a straight line. And that is why I decided to um, get it and I don't really intend on using it for its actual purpose as a ruler. I kind of just got it for the straight edge to cut along. Um, but I do like the circles. I think that's really, really cool. So yeah. All right guys, so that is my sewing haul. Um, let me know what you guys think down below. Let me know what your favorite item was. I definitely really love all the fabric I got. I can't pick a favorite. Um, if you guys want to see sewing videos, let me know down below in the comments. Um, just like, yeah, I've never done one of these before and I thought it was kind of fun because I haven't spending way too much money at Joann's lately. But um, let me know if you guys sew and I will see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!